So today is the fifteenth day of the main lead code thirty day challenge, and the problem will be maximum sound circular subarray. So we are given a circular array C of integers represented by A, and we are asked to find the maximum possible sound of a non-empty subarray of C. So basically, this problem is a variation of the maximum subarray sound, which allowed us to use the wrapping techniques for finding the overall best answer. For example, in example two, the maximum subarray sound will not be seven anymore, which will be ten, because we can use the last element of five and the first element of five to form the ten answer. So, how do we solve this problem? This problem can be divided into two parts. The first part is the normal cadence algorithm. So we are just find the non-wrapping part of the maximum sound. And if you are not familiar with the cadence algorithm, I suggest you to go gigs for gigs for more information and understanding it before dive into more. And the second part of this solution will be here, which means we have used the wrapping part. And if we are using the wrapping part, which means the wrapping part will definitely be the maximum answer. However, since we have using the maximum answer for the wrapping part, then which means the minimum part in the mid the, the part in the middle, which will be the straight non-wrapping one, and that part will definitely be min. Why? Because we can subtract the maximum possible from the wrapping part, which will result in the overall minimum in the minimal non-wrapping part, which is shown as green here. So minimum sound in the original array, which equals to the maximum sound in the inverted array. So after that, we just need to compare the non-wrapping and wrapping together. And how do we find the wrapping? The wrapping one is just using the total sum of the original array plus the inverted maximum sum array, the inverted maximum sum. Why we use the plus? Because the array has now been inverted. So plus a inverted element will make us the minus effect. You might Recall that from the linear algebra, if we are doing the subtraction, which just is doing the same as the plus, but now we just plus the inverted element, like three minus one is same as three plus minus one. So now we can dive into the coding part. So first, we initial well, we will initialize a. Uh, not initialize. We will write a cadence algorithm. So input vector int for int x b doing something, and we initialize maxima as integer min and current maxima as zero. So current maxima equals to max of current maximum plus x or x because we have to use and then max equals to max current max and max max so here we have the maximum of non-wrapping and w which equals to cadence of A and then iterate it through the original array and maximum of wrapping is now equal to 0 and maximum of wrapping plus equal to x and x invert so mxw plus equal to cadence which is the inverted element now so A and finally return maximum of maximum wrapping and maximum non-wrapping. Okay. 
uh, wrong answers. Oh, now we are going to have some small. Oh, minus two, minus three, minus one. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, I just forgot a part that if maximum wrapping is zero, which means that we have the total sum plus the inverted as zero. So the total sum will be inverted sum, which means like for example, in this example, if all the input number are negative, then the wrapping sum will equals to the minus of the total sum, which is a special case. So if the wrapping maximum is zero, then we simply use the non-wrapping maximum, which will only take the small uh, biggest element from all the negative numbers. Otherwise, we can return just as normal. Okay, and get accepted. So thank you for watching today's video and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.